Hello guys, welcome back. Today we've got a build order for the Khmer. This one is pretty mental, if I'm honest. I really, really enjoy it. It's become my new favourite build order, my new favourite strategy. Um, it is just a fairly standard start, uh, but what we're actually looking at today is a Khmer Fast Castle into one Stable Knights, which is done, um, you reach Castle Age around, uh, well, the optimum would be 13 minutes and 10 seconds. We're not going to be optimum, um, but we're certainly going to be uh, reaching the uh, castle age at a pretty good time uh, so um, standard start six on sheet you can see on the side here I've got the build order overlay program uh, which is a, a little program you can download and have it on whilst you're playing the game so this particular build I've coded it myself uh, for the overlay uh, so you won't be able to find it when you download it uh, you do get the uh, get the overlay um, build order uh, by being a channel member so do check out the channel member pricing and you will get these um, for that even at the basic one you'll get these so once you've got the uh, six on sheep you're sending three over to wood so basically it's a kind of like the same sort of opening as a scout uh, scout rush uh, to start off with um, but essentially we are going to be pushing all of our deer and obviously eating all of our juicy boar uh, so three on uh, I'll speed it up a little bit. Three on wood. And what I've done here, because it's only three on wood, I've taken one of the sheep villages off to go and all the first boar. And then the next um, two villages that come out are going on to, onto the food. So uh, we'll end up with a total of eight on food at that point. Like so. Uh, next one's just about to come out. There we go. So now that one's come out. We're going to start pushing our deer. Well, you can see I've started doing that. Obviously, went a bit wrong. <laughs> um, but the next village is come out. It's going to go over to berries, make a house, and then go to berries. Um, and then the next four villages are going to go out to the berries as well. So we're going to have five on berries. In terms of luring the second board, just lure it when you need to. Um, sometimes with this one. Uh, you know you might need to get it a bit earlier but if you're being able to get your deer in you can probably delay the, the second boar a little bit uh, but we're all going for five on on the berries here so there's the mill not the best placements i know but it's commerce so you, can, you don't need necessarily need farms around the mill um so um let me know what you think of this build it's very risky well it's not very risky at all it's pretty good because you get a massive power spike as soon as you hit um castle age at 13 minutes which is roughly the sort of perhaps it's about a minute or, t or so um after you'll get start getting attacked depending on which uh, strategy your opponent's going for uh, but you should be able to with you know withhold or withstand all the the pressure you're going to be getting uh, certainly if it's a drush or man at arms it's probably going to be a little bit more vulnerable to those builds um probably a, a, an early scout rush as well it's going to be quite vulnerable uh, towards as well um but with those types of builds or strategies you can just wall around your resources and protect yourself so um yeah it's not too bad archers you should be okay with it is a bit vulnerable against archers but um should be fine uh, so with this one uh, now we've got all those on barriers. We're sending the next three onto boar. One of them's already popped out, so we're going to send another two. As you can see, we're getting that last deer in. Once that deer's in, we can go and do some scouting. Okay, so um, just waiting for this uh, next village to come out there, and then we're going to send three over to uh, to gold. Then we're going to get loom, and then we're going to click up to the food age. So it's pretty good build order. Pretty good. Um, strategy it's fun it's, it's fun it's not it's it's a little bit risky uh, but it, it can be potentially a little bit all in uh, but you should be able to easily maintain night production from the one stable from 13 minutes and 10 seconds and you will have bloodlines as well and you will have double bit axe uh, so it's not bad at all not bad at all um, but do let me know in the comments what you think to it is it risky i think it's going to be really useful for a team game so if you're a team game player this one will be really really good especially if you're a po um, your partner is going for archers um, they can kind of cover you a little bit uh, whilst you're uh, getting into uh, you know getting up to the castle age it can potentially give you a bit of cover 
and uh, and then once you've got your castellades you've got your really strong power spike with the knights even a few knights will will wreak havoc against a feudal age army and it's obviously very handy having bloodlines as well at that point so we're going to click up to feudal age and then we are going to uh, move a few villages over any second now we'll wait for the sheep to uh, finish Okay, so what we're doing once we've clicked up, we're going to send two over to uh, the wood, two over to farms. Sorry, I just had to quickly change the overlay there. So we've got two over to wood, two on farms. Should still have seven on uh, on sheep there. I right, deselect that sheep as well. So we've still got seven on the sheep. So we're going to just uh, concentrate, just purely collecting all those sheep up at this point. Uh, once we get to the castle age, we should have enough food to instantly click up. I'm going to fast forward in a second, I'm just going to move forward on the build order overlay. Let's have a little look. Okay. Feudal Age came in, we've clicked Castle. There's, I think there's a slight delay, one of the resources was not quite there, but um, once that sheep has ran out, we're going to send two of them over to gold. And the other five are going to go on to straggler trees, well four of them are going to go to straggler trees. One of them is going to make the stable and a house. Once the stable is built, you should be able to research uh, bloodlines. We've got double bit axe coming in right at the moment. And uh, these villages on the straggler trees, they're just going to add farms. And then that villager is doing the building as well. Once the building's finished, that one will go to farms as well. So we should have uh, seven farms and then the five on barriers, uh, which should be enough to uh, keep us going with the night production at the time being. Um, so again, I'll just speed it up a little bit just to get up to the castle age. That's all we're doing at this point, just adding those farms. There we go. Next one coming in. There we go. I do actually have uh, a recorded game or an, an actual game that I'm going to uh, uh, share with you at the end of this video so you can see me doing this on the rank ladder. Uh, I've done it quite a few times. I've only lost once so far. I've probably played it about five, six times and only lost once. So quite good um, I'm having a ton of fun playing it so now we've reached the castle age we're able to just start creating knights, knights instantly we're going to send two villages over to wood just to give us uh, a little bit of a wood boost so we'll have seven on wood should be enough to maintain uh, farm production and then we're also going to send two over to gold uh, and probably uh, at that point, you need another two, I would suggest. Uh, another two farms, two on farms. As you can see, we're still making knights. Production's going quite nicely. The berry villagers, just start filtering them off onto farms. You can take one off and send it over to gold as well. So you'll have um, a total of uh, eight, I believe, on gold. Should be enough to keep maintaining that knight production nicely. And then you'll have uh, 11 farms and then if you add another two like i suggested earlier uh, you'll, you'll be there with 13 farms which will be enough to uh, easily maintain your villager production and night production so yeah that's going to be all our 11 farmers there so that's what we're going to do now we're going to add a couple on and at this point you've got a few different choices really um, if you want to go into start transitioning into scorpions as you can see, we're going to go on the attack now, still maintaining that production. If you're going to go into Scorpions, you probably want to get another sort of five villagers onto wood uh, and then possibly stop raking the knights and start focusing on Scorpions once you've got some you know, good knight numbers together. Uh, you could transition into Battle Elephants, which is one that I like to do, just to give me that extra punch when I'm uh, attacking the enemy, uh, which you'll probably need about another... Uh, seven farms, so you'll have enough on gold, but you'll need another seven farms to maintain constant elephant production. Uh, that's a really good idea, uh, personally. I, I quite enjoy uh, transitioning into elephants. Uh, you'll be able to rip down buildings, uh, and they do create a lot, well, a little bit quicker than the knights do as well, so it uh, should be pretty good in that respect. Um, alternatively, you could start looking at building up your economy, so you, again, you're going to need to add a, perhaps another five or six on wood. Um, and start looking at um, getting some wood together 
to uh, get some extra TCs down and things like that. So you've got a few options. Um, really you want to be causing as much damage as you can um, from that sort of 14 minute mark. Um, because really you've probably got about an 8 minute window where you can cause quite a lot of damage. So do take advantage of that. But that is it for this build order. Uh, do click on the video on screen now to see me doing this in a ranked game.